Hey, I'm Sean for Rusty Shovel TV, and uh, we've got our first guest on the show today, um, Alicia from Thrive Landscape Design here in Regina. And uh, we just wanted to kind of uh, draw on our resources a little bit to help you out with uh, everything to do with, with landscaping. So I thought, where better to start than um, with the design aspect, because a, a good landscape doesn't happen without a good design. So I thought uh, we'd uh, talk to Alicia about that. So um, I guess, what what's tell me about the process of both, uh, you know, I'm a homeowner, I want to start working with a designer, um, kind of walk me through how that whole process works. Well, usually I start off with a consultation and go to the customer's house and talk to them a little bit about what they're wanting to do with their yard, um, what the space is going to be used for, um, whether you're using it for entertaining, um, play areas. Um, planting, vegetable gardens, that kind of thing, find out all about that and then we start the design process which I usually like to make it a very interactive process with the customer as well and make sure that they're involved the whole time so that their wishes and their needs are met through the design process. And so what would you say is an advantage of uh, you know going to to a professional designer like yourself uh, versus you know just just starting to uh, put some stuff together on my on my own like uh, what's the advantage there the advantage would be that it's laid out properly with the proper dimensions added in you get all your project materials listed um, including square footage of decking patio um, the proper plants are chosen for your space as my background is in prairie horticulture so I know that these are the types of plants that will grow and withstand our crazy climate that we live in and um, that you're not going to be tearing stuff out later because you maybe overplanted or something didn't work because it's actually not good for the space that it was planted in. So right. So I mean, you're doing this every you're doing this every day. You work with the plants. You know what you know what goes goes well together. And yeah. uh, you know, as a as a homeowner, I know myself. I mean, even though you know, I might might have planted some shrubs before. I'm I might they might not have turned out so well. So that's that's a good resource to draw on for yeah, sure. So. Exactly. Um, and uh, another just on on our note, uh, Alicia helped us out with the uh, with the design for for our display room here um, at the Rusty Shovel. And uh, um, what I really think is cool about what what you're doing is you know having she she actually provides um, she's got a really cool program where it does uh, 3D uh, visuals for for people to to look at and. And uh, um, you can kind of see, it's, it's one thing to see on paper what, what this is going to look like, but she can actually take you through a 3D walkthrough and uh, kind of talk about, uh, talk about that a little bit, about the program and how that works. Well, the program um, is good for a lot of reasons. Even the two-dimensional plan that I provide is in color as well. So even the little plant symbols, the grass area, it's all going to be well marked. So you can tell what's decking, what's bricks, what's grass, what's plants. Um, so that alone is good and sometimes that even helps the landscapers when they're coming into the yards to, to find out what's going to be where, the dimensions are all going to be on there. There's a few other perspectives too that I can actually do sort of a, a full scope all around view whether it's overhead, from the side, looking down at the yard so it gives you that perspective of how everything's going to be laid out and then like you said the walkthrough which essentially is like taking snapshots of the yard um, with a camera of how things are going to look when it's done so it really does give you the perspective because the house is part of my plan as well so I'm trying to coordinate the whole yard to complement the exterior of the house the size of the house making sure the plantings are going to be the right size against the house that there's not going to be massive trees that are just going to overtake the whole yard or the house for that matter right that's that's one of the things that I thought was really cool is that you know you could say okay uh, it's one thing to Put it on paper this is going to be uh, uh you know this this type of evergreen tree or something like that but um to actually okay what's that going to look like beside my driveway right. or what's that going to look like beside my house how high is that going to come up and then people can say well you know i think that's a little bit too high or maybe we need a little bit more fill in there so that's right and a lot of times people don't know the plant name when you tell it to them but when they see the image then they recognize it and they might say oh i love that tree i've wanted one for years or 
that's my least favorite one. Can we substitute it for something else? So right. it gives them a good idea of how things are going to look after. Right. And so is there, I guess on, on just a final note, is there anything um, new that you've seen that you're trying to incorporate in, in your designs that you'd kind of like to share with people to, you know, spark some ideas and, and get them thinking about uh, doing things a little bit different with their landscape? A lot of things. And uh, I think you actually carry a few of them here <laughs> and that's part of it. Um, a big thing is the water features and and what people's perception of water features are that you have to have a huge space so you can put a big pond in the ground and with some of the new products that are coming out and with things like the bubblers and fountains there's so many options for having that tranquil garden space that that you're looking for without having a huge property to do it in so all shapes and sizes of those and um, and also for eco and environmentally friendly clients of mine that are looking for some options for irrigation too. I think that's really important right now and we need to consider what our alternatives are because we don't necessarily need to be just using the yeah. garden hose straight out of the, ho the water tap kind of thing, that there is alternatives to that. Yeah, for sure. Okay, well, I really want to say thank you, and I appreciate you coming My down to, to do this. And uh, we'll, uh, if you if you want some more information on uh, Alicia's company, go to what is it? Th uh, Thrive Design. Thrive Design. Ca. Thrive I'll have a link in the in the show notes there. And uh, for more landscaping tips, you can uh, check out RustyShovel.tv. And to check out all the products we've got, uh, go to uh, the RustyShovel.ca or visit us at 680 Agus Street uh, in Regina. Thanks, Sean. Thank you.